Ladies and gentlemen, your next bout this evening will be contested over five one and a half minute rounds. This is at Cruiserweight under C Class rules. Introducing to the red corner, heading from KO Pumps. Make some noise for Andy Hall. in the blue corner, heading from the Minosaur Gym. Make some noise for Daniel Coleman. And you over to your fighters and referees. Okay, this is where this Smash Mall Thai event four gets really interesting. We've uh, now got the kids done, and absolutely fantastic bounce from the kids, really setting the standard. Now we bring in the big guns, and we've got a cruiserweight fight here, matched at 88 kilograms. It's a C class bout, so no knees to the head or elbows allowed. You've got in the blue corner, fighting out the Minotaur Gin. Coman, the Barbarian Daniel, it's his first fight at 24 years old. He's from Romania, uh, from the north of Romania. He's uh, been training about a year at the Minotaurs as a security guard. Crowd going well behind us. And I think a lot of them, they're calling for Andy Drago Hall from the Co. Pump Gym over here in the red corner. It's his first fight too. Fantastic stage in the Watford Coliseum. Really looking forward to this one. I'm joined in the commentary box with Nick Wilson. Looking forward to this one too, Nick. Absolutely. The, I tell you what, these big lads are going to have to go some to uh, match the standards set by the youngsters we've just seen. We really have seen a fantastic opening to the show, haven't we? I, I've been so impressed, so impressed. The absolute pleasure to be commentating. It's such a fantastic event again. And the atmosphere is cracking, isn't it? You know, there it is packed, packed yeah, to the rafters. You can back hear there. them heaving behind us, can't yeah. you? Yes, yeah, the first adult bout of the evening here. Don't forget, it's a Minotaur gym show. Although you wouldn't know it at the moment, the charming for the other lads. <laughs> yeah, the crowd really getting behind these boys. The show's been put on by Christian Knowles, Jody Jonas and Alex Foreman. They've had help from a lot of people as well. Of course, like saying hello to Lyndon Knowles as well. Your sponsors are thebrandingteam.co.uk, MTB are sponsoring the gloves, and Monster, your referee, Ryan Rudkin, myself, Danny Kendrick, in the commentary bit box, and I'm joined by the very handsome Nick Wilson. Oh, thank you, Danny. <laughs> I don't mean it, Nick. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I tell you what, Conan, he looks so relaxed this, for his first fight. Yep, so your referee swap now, he's now got um, Keith Pele Nathan in there. Ryan Rackin took the uh, junior bouts earlier. We are getting on for some C class Muay Thai action here. Round one. When you see these big guns in there, Nick, if you've got something to say, say it now, because they can be over yeah, so yeah. quick. Yeah. It's a fair point, nice and tasty with his hands, yeah. Conan. Big shot from one of these guys, yeah. it's, it's good night and God bless. He looks very, very relaxed, it's great to see him, he's leading everything off the jab, throwing the right hand behind it or following up with kicks. Yeah, just like to remind everyone, they look very comfortable and this is these guys' first mm. fight. 
amazing to see. Good body <laughs> shot there. You almost wouldn't believe it was their first fight. Yeah, very experienced corner from a very new gym here in the red corner. You've got um, Mark Baxter and Andy Ferguson, and it's KO Pump Gym over there in Stevenage. They're a new gym. Of course, not as experienced as Minotaur Gym. It's a very old school gym. But Mark and Anthony very experienced and both trained at Minotaurs as well. Yeah, they train them hard over there. New gym, but it uh, seems to be producing quality. Yep. Uh, their heart's definitely in it with these two boys in the corner beside us. Very experienced Minotaur yeah. corner there with Christian Knowles. Lewis Taylor. And the daddy Paul Taylor. Getting greyer every day. <laughs> Conan's doing well, he's setting things up with his jab, leading off, took something there, which he needs to be aware of. But yeah, good boxing skills from both these gladiators, that's a really good opening round. Fairly yeah, just even. looking there, a little bit wild, the hands in the red corner here. Yeah. I think Conan's uh, hands are a little bit stronger. I think that was the difference this round, did you say? I think so, just a little bit more quality in the boxing there. Yeah. Lovely body shot there. Conan, of course, has been in England about a year now. He's uh, loving life here and training hard down at the Minotaur gym. Nice to see the replay there. Goes to body and then back to the head. Yeah, great boxing skills. I wonder if he's got any boxing background there, Nick. Matt, quite possibly, he's, he's um, showing quality beyond uh, his kind of suggested experience. A lot of gyms in Romania. That, that's it, they, but they, they seem to be breeding them tough. Yeah, some good shows over there as well, and a lot of fantastic... 40 Romanian seconds out. And, of course, Alex Bubla as well today. Yeah, looking forward to him. The, the, I have to say, the, show, the match ups on the show so far, we're only a little way in, but they've all been... Good yeah, matchups, yeah an absolute testament to promoters of this show. I've not thrown anyone in there for the Gladiator show. Round Everyone's two. in there to uh, to fight and represent themselves well. And of course, your main event tonight, Salah, an absolute monster to fight. Yeah, yeah. If anything, the Minotaurs are taking on the harder fights. Yeah, and that, and that it's not often you see that. So yeah, that I'm not going to mention see. any names, but other gym shows you seem to try and mismatch their fighters to try and uh, get an advantage. I mean, the long run, it doesn't really do anyone any favours, but we're certainly not seeing that here. He's turned southpaw. No, Coman the Barbarian, <laughs> Daniel really coming in well now. He looks really comfortable, doesn't he, he Nick? looks so relaxed, and that's the difference. I can see the lad from the KO gym, his left eye swelling up a little bit. Just whistled past his head there with the left head This kick. is a good bout. For yeah. a first bout, this is a good bout. The quality's there. Good trick. And tell, tell, tell the viewers, Danny, does that score well, that kind of trick? Not for me. No? Not for me, Nick. But some judges, obviously, UKMF, they uh, judge all shots evenly. And uh, For me, it shows good skills. And if it's mixed in, it can show good domination, I think. Yeah. But yeah. people who trip all the time, I think they're trying to get out of the fight sometimes, you know? Yeah. Good check there. Keeping his hands up well, Conan. Yeah, referee split them there, but I think he teed up a nice knee there, Andy Drago Hall. He just looks a little bit more relaxed, unloading with the hands now. He finished with the knee, bang on the yeah, bell. Yeah, bang on the... He, he, he cut that uh, trigger before the bell actually went, so it's definitely not a late shot there. Yeah. Andy apologised, but... Nice fella, because I'm not very apologetic. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're just watching these replays, you watch the hands, there's just a little bit more quality in the in the uh, shots from uh, Coman. It's just that and seeing a, seeming a little bit more relaxed. And it looks like the lad from the KO gym was feeling the pace a little bit at the end of that round. And I just think the difference is he's just a fraction more relaxed than the boy from the Minotaur gym. Yeah, uh, your trainer Andy Ferguson and Mark Spax, they're giving instruction there and icing down the eye of Andy Hall here. So he's taken a bit of lever in the eye at some point there. Three of them shouting instruction at once, that's yeah, really yeah. good. Yeah, yeah it's, it's quite hard to hear, isn't it? Yeah. It can make a difference. You can hear Christian Knowles' instructions from the back <laughs> of the stadium. <laughs> <laughs> he really has got some lungs on him, that boy. I'm really looking forward to this round. 
This is a C-class rules bout for anyone who's watching now. That means no knees to the head or elbows allowed. Whoa, Lovely combination. combination. Yep, these guys are starting to put their hands and legs together. Great to see. He's just so accurate with that front jab, and it's not like it's really, really damaging, but it's just setting him up, just keeping him off balance. Nice good midsection. Kick, yep. It's a good fight, isn't it, Nick? Yeah, yeah, I'm really impressed again. The quality's there once again. Tell me, Danny, are you a fan of these five one and a half C class uh, fights, am, or would uh, you put no, no, C three twos? No, no, I am Nick. I'll tell you for why. I, I like the uh, corners to get more instruction into them, to get more quality. Yeah. They tend to tire towards the end of the uh, three minute rounds, yeah. and you don't get a lot of quality. Yeah. And where they where they're Ooh. young and inexperienced, I'm not saying they don't know what they're doing, but to get instruction from their experienced corner just produces more quality in the fights. Yeah. He really looks like he's enjoying it, the lad from the Minotaur gym there. So comfortable, isn't Nick? Yeah. This is his first bout. Just wants to uh, be aware, keep his hands up, can't take anything for granted when you've got lads of this size. Jab on cross, mid kick again, textbook, pad training combinations yeah. coming yeah. out, going to the body and the head. He finishes with a kick. Yeah, Coma and the Barbarian Daniel really going to work now, and yeah. I've got him ahead in this fight now. Yeah, you can tell from the look on Andy uh, Hall's face there, he's feeling the pressure of this fight. The right eye is just battered, yeah. yeah. Right eye is swelling up. Oh, no, sorry, it's left eye. Why is that trouble with my left lads. and my right? <laughs> <laughs> You're not driving me home tonight, are you, Nick? <laughs> you can just tell by the difference in the corners. You know, they're calm over there in the yeah. opposite corner with the minor tool gym bit more urgency going yeah, on. Yeah, the thing is, there isn't anything urgent. He's a head co-man in my book, so he's, yeah. there's not a lot of urgent stuff really to throw across, is there? No. Just a little bit of what you're doing, and if you was in the KO corner here, Nick, what would you be saying to your man? Yeah, well, I just overheard one of them say, believe in yourself, and that's it, you know, it's, come on, fire up. What did you train for? He um, looks a bit dejected looked, sometimes, uh, yeah, didn't Yeah, and he? that's the reason, a bit dejected, but more so than giving him any technical advice. Yeah. I mean, Mark Baxter and Andy Ferguson there, they, they've, been, they've been around this game a long time. We've got yeah. a lot of love for both those guys. Yeah, and, absolutely. Yep, they've, uh, I'm sure they know how to see their guys. See a weary kick there. Good jab cross, left knee there. He looks like he's been fighting for years, Coleman, now. He does. Just as that confidence has gone up, he's now smelling blood, and I think he's looking to stop him with every shot now. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Inside, outside, leg kick. Good right hook, left body kick. He really looks the part, doesn't he? I'm really yeah. impressed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's lovely to watch. And although he has blood running from both of them, got blood running through their nose. You wouldn't, you wouldn't really know it from. Oh, that's Conan's a good sign of a good fight. Blood out of both noses, <laughs> eh? <laughs> what we like to see. Absolutely loving the show so far. This is Smash Mutai Forest, a Minotaur gym show in a packed Watford Coliseum. You are now watching the big guns at 88 kilos, giving it to each other. And the fans already getting value for money. Good knee. Oh, I'd like to see him step back and fire another knee. Just twisted onto the ropes mm. there. Blood pouring from both noses. Bit some good fight picks for these guys after. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit of blood puts it on the wall, doesn't just, it? I just think if he can just sustain an attack, perhaps he can stop him. Oh, very good Ooh. combinations from Coman, the Barbarian, Daniel there. What a fantastic bout. <laughs> it really is. The bell rang just in time, is it? Do you yeah. think he's going to make it out for the next round? I think he will. I think he, I, I think he will. He looks like he's got a big heart. He's taken yeah. some heavy shots, though. Coman's looking really good. He looks at, just looking over Christian's shoulder there. He, he, he looks a little bit tired now. I mean, this is yeah. his first bout. These people, it's hard to like, explain one to two, him how much fitness it involves, eh? Yeah. That you, you can do all the rounds on the pads, you can do all the rounds of sparring, but when you get in there and the adrenaline hits the system, just watching the replays here as well. Yeah, definitely. There was a lovely inside-outside low kick that you spotted there, wasn't there, on, on during that Yeah, round. really like that, and I love the hook 
from Koman when he hook kicks yeah. the body. Yeah. It's fast. It's nice to see speed at 88 kilos. It's yeah. fantastic yeah. to watch. Sometimes it can get a bit sloppy when you move up in the weight division, but we haven't seen that in Yeah, this that's one. right. I mean, even the big guns from the monitors. I, I love seeing Lyndon when he's a big lad firing fast yeah. shots. It's great to see, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, nice gentlemanly double hand touch from these two gladiators. Coming into the last round. Oh, there it is again, Nick, yeah. the hook and left body kick. Yeah. He Every loves the left single. body kick, doesn't yeah. he? Off the lead leg, have you noticed yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most guys are more comfortable off the, uh, off the rear rock, leg. Yeah, yep. absolutely. This he throws his combination, finishes with a left kick to the body. Very hard to get a rear kick in when you go up in class with the tyres to get around the block. The lead kick's yeah. usually favourite. Yeah. Andy biting down on his gum shield now. Yeah, he just needs to get through this fight for his heart, you know. He's, uh, yeah. he's going behind, but he's, uh, he's fought like a gladiator, hasn't he? Yeah, and the corner roaring their man on. He's pouring blood out his yeah. nose now. Yeah. He, he'll I find that gonna... very hard to breathe in there, Nick. His nose yeah. is full of blood. If he, sifts, mind... if he sniffs that up, he'll find it very hard to breathe. Ooh. Yeah. And when you're tired anyway, the what mind... a fantastic bout. Ooh, lovely uppercut yeah. hook, low kick. The combinations, it's textbook, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's the punch variety. You're absolutely right, textbook stuff here. Yeah, you can mind... see what he's been put through in the gym, can't yeah. you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Minotaur imploring him to finish on the legs, thinking possibly he can stop him that way. I think. I think they just don't want Andy Drago Hall walking up the stairs tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> what a fantastic yes. well, bout! I mean, that, what a great show these guys and have for put a on first for you. Bout, that is absolutely yeah. tremendous. I mean, both corners will be so proud of their men, but Coman, the barbarian Daniel, sparred with a guy and. I, didn't, I had no clues so he'd be that good from that, did you? I, yeah, I, I've seen him in the gym, I've seen him in training, and he's really, really uh, surprised he's us to there. the occasion as Absolutely. he's coming tonight, hasn't he? Yeah, very tidy hands. If he keeps progressing the way he's going, you know, he's going to be something to watch out for at uh, you know a high level in this country. Oh, definitely. I really enjoying this show. Of course, your officials, UKMF, very experienced, capable hands. You're watching Smash Muay Thai 4. Myself, Danny Kendrick and Nick Wilson in the commentary box. We are at the Watford Coliseum. Give it up for these two. Great show they've put on for you. And ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner by unanimous decision from the blue corner, Daniel!